Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're going over Atari Jaguar, a Jaguar, Jaguar emulation on PC. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, the Atari Jaguar is a very interesting system. It was marketed as the world's first 64-bit console. Even though it was the world's first 64-bit console, it was regarded as a commercial failure. It sold less than 250,000 units. It actually caused Atari to leave the console market. Yet a lot of people are asking for an emulator video on it. So here we are. To be perfectly honest with you, the state of Atari Jaguar emulation is not that great. There are a couple of options out there, but I do think the best one is through RetroArch. I'll leave a link to RetroArch in the description below. I have a video on how to get started with RetroArch on PC, and I'll leave it in the description below. I do recommend checking it out. But if you've downloaded RetroArch and booted it up, the very first thing you're going to want to do here is go to Load Core. From here, select Download a Core. Once you're here, scroll down to Atari Jaguar. Virtual Jaguar is the only core for the Atari Jaguar. Click on it to download the core. Once the core finishes downloading, select Load Content, and this is where you select your game ROM file. Virtual Jaguar does not support Atari Jaguar CDs. Actually, I don't think there is an emulator out there that does support Atari Jaguar CDs so you will have to play just a standard old Atari Jaguar game. Once you've selected your ROM file, it should boot automatically into the game and it should look something like this. If you want to configure any options, you just have to press the F1 button. F1 brings up the quick menu where you can do things like save states, change your controls, and also change options in the emulator. Virtual Jaguar does not have a lot of options, but let's go through them. Scroll down to where it says Options and click on it. From here we have a total of four different options, not really a whole lot. Pass Blitter, DOS Res Hack, BIOS, and PAL, which requires a restart. Overall, this is all you get, and you don't really need to change anything. Other than that, there's really not much else to do. Just enjoy your Atari Jaguar games. But anyways, that is all I've got for today. Atari Jaguar emulation isn't that popular, but at least we've got something. Let me know your thoughts on Virtual Jaguar in the comments below, and stay tuned because in a couple of days, I'll publish a video on Atari Jaguar on Android. Let me know if you have any other emulators or systems you want me to check out in the comments below as well. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.